Yeah, so here we are. This is right here in Guelph, um, just down by the river, and um, the boathouse, the ice cream shop. It's just, it's just that way, half a kilometer down the river. And I couldn't help noticing while we're walking by here that there are all these, what you would call, I don't know, these stalks of something that reminds me of corn, actually, except that it's hollow. And most wind instruments are made of, you got one piece that shakes, and that's what we call the tone generator. That's the thing that makes the air shake. Like, for example, the whistle on a recorder. It splits open a wind stream and it makes the air shake. But your recorder is just a hollow pipe with some holes drilled in it. And I can only imagine that when people who were first starting to experiment with making sound, I can only imagine that they, they thought, well, wow, we've got plants that actually grow like hollow tubes. We actually don't need to get a piece of wood and then hollow it out. Uh, sometimes we might be able to make something out of these hollow tubes. Now these ones are pretty soft, like like they're so soft, you know, you can just crush them with your hands. So I, I don't know that this is going to be strong enough for me to make anything with, but maybe, I mean, there's so much of it, I might as well, might as well try. I got thinking about those, those stalks of that woody, type of plant that I found down by the river and uh, it seemed to me that it is uh, they're all hollow tubes and they're blocked at both ends and uh, but if I cut them so that there's one open end it would remind me a lot of something like this which is basically a, a tube um, that's blocked at one end and open at the other end. So this is an old uh, olive oil bottle and if I make my mouth like a flute player would, so a um, uh, really small opening so that the air comes out fast like this, I, I actually get a pretty good sound off of this. Here's how you do this with your mouth. Um, uh, to make a flute player is what we call embouchure. Um, put your hand out in front of you make a nice small opening here and make the air go fast so that your hand gets cold. Not like, not slow, like, but really make it go fast like this. And um, if you want to try this on, on, on a bottle, you, um, uh, you might have to practice like sliding it back and forth to find the sweet spot. Right there for me, and then another thing is uh, how much you tilt it. So if it's tilted too much up, it doesn't really go. Tilt it down, and you'll you'll find the sweet spot. And then what I found is if you use bottles of different lengths, listen to this. Oh, and here's a here's a the largest bottle that I have. This old old wine bottle, I think. Almost sounds like a foghorn. But yeah, we've got all these different sounds. Ha! Huh. You hear those two notes, you know what that could be? That could be, that could be the beginning of the Jaws theme music, the, the, like the shark movie Jaws. Here, listen. And then the shark comes in. Yeah, wow. Oh, there's a lot of fun we can have with this. I just had some fun actually with um, gently tapping these bottles on the floor. Uh, listen, watch. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this. You might be able to.
Yeah, so there's, that's another way. I just found another way to make some sounds uh, with these bottles. So I found, um, like, if you blow almost straight into it, if I put, like, half my mouth on it and half of my mouth off, I had, just give me one sec, it'll, oh, I got it. And this, this makes me laugh. So here, this little bottle, and this is the biggest bottle that I have. This little one makes a lower pitch sound, significantly lower than this. But it's, it's actually kind of a pretty sound. Here's another one. Where is it? All these different, can you hear a really high pitch one? <laughs> it, it would, it'd be hard to play. If you wanted to write a, a tune or a melody to play with these, it'd be hard to play. You'd have to be working really fast, you know, switch bottles, and I'm, I'm really nervous about banging them together. I, I really don't want that to happen. But uh, anyway, there's another sound with just an item of just random glassware I found around the house. Well, I had to come down to the basement for something, and as I was walking by the sink here, I got thinking... I should try putting water in the bottle and see if that changes the pitch. I've seen it done before, but uh, look, so I've, I've got a wine bottle. Luckily, I mean, I, I don't know if you know this, I happen to make wine. My family's made wine uh, long since long before I was born. And uh, anyway, so I, I have, a, um, have a number of empty uh, like glass bottles, and I was able to do something with it. Check this out. Okay, so here's what it sounds like with nothing in it. If I add some water. Can you hear that? What a difference. And, oh, and listen to this. Here's something else I figured out. Uh, it seems like the more water you put in, the lower the pitch will be if you're tapping it, but the higher the pitch is if you're blowing across it. Now if I add more. So listen to the pitch now. That's getting a lot lower, but listen. That one's getting higher. So you see, the less room you have at the top, that seems to make a lot of difference for if you're blowing across it. So now that's getting quite low. And that's getting quite high. That's, that, that's really cool. Okay, and with my handy dandy stick here and some bottles with different levels of water in them, um, <laughs> here's my attempt at Mary Had a Little Lamb. Here we go. Yeah, so it worked. It worked. Oh, that's that's almost like the spring. Is that like the spring movement of uh, of Vivaldi's Four Seasons? Da 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 da. Listen. I need to I need to put more bottles out here and get that together but hey uh, the possibilities are <laughs> not endless but you know th there are possibilities out there yeah, and then I got to thinking maybe not everybody has all those glass bottles so uh, why not try glasses um, listen
that's pretty cool. And then um, uh, what I did is I, I got I put this all on a cookie tray because um, I thought maybe we'd add some some water and see if it uh, changes the pitch. And turns out, uh, well, you judge. Listen. So there can be a lot of fun with this, but look, if you were to try this, okay, I gotta be honest with you. I got a feeling this one would be one that would be, say, hard for your parents to handle. Like if you made a mess, for example, and like didn't clean it up. So uh, first thing, if you're gonna try this, I want you to know, you don't have to do this. This is not an assignment. This is an option. If and only if you talk to your the adults in your house first and you say, look, uh, would I be allowed to try this? Um, you need to do it in such a way that it's not going to make a mess. You notice I used light little sticks of wood. I was not tapping on these glasses with a spoon or something hard. It has to be that nothing gets broken and no mess is left. So I've used a cookie tray. The thing I chose to pour my water out of has a spout, so it's designed for pouring. I tried pouring out of uh, just a regular coffee cup and it just dribbled down the side and very little of the water went where I wanted it to. So uh, you're gonna, you gotta make sure that you're not you, know, you get what I'm getting at, you know, just don't make it a pain for other people, okay? And then the other thing is, if other people are working, like, you know, making a musical instrument, that's noisy, bangy stuff, and you can't do it if, if it's going to bother other people. So you really need to check with your family first, and maybe there's a good time for you to do it. Maybe there's a time when, you know, other people are outside, or maybe you can do it outside, where if you spill... There's no problem, and the noise isn't going to bother others, okay? You'll figure it out. Or you don't have to do it. That's fine, too. I happen to think this stuff is really cool. I love this stuff. I think it's great. So this brings us back to these sticks. Well, I haven't done anything with them yet. Um, and I'm not going to have time to do anything with them right now. Uh, but do check back next week and see if see if I got anywhere. Will it work? I don't know. I have no idea. I have to give it a try, though. All right. Take care, everybody.